Hello YouTube, Craig in here, and welcome back to my Let's Play series on Journey to the Savage Planet. This is episode 2, and we're going to be continuing on. We found our panel that we were missing in the last episode that I took me forever to find. I was lost. So we're continuing on into this cave to scan probably these purple things right here. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. Yep. These are like plants or something. These crystals look extremely oh, crystals. breakable. That's what they are. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Yeah, so we need a gun now. I've seen in, you know, previews of this game, you, you got a gun in your right hand, so we're, we must be after a gun now. Let's take a look at these things. Aww, it's chilly. <laughs> Cold, loves you. That's funny. They must be uh, passive. What's that? They're drugs, but good drugs. <laughs> good drugs. For healing, not for healing. <laughs> good drugs for healing. That must be... Birds may not look oh, it's salt it, crystal. They're salty as hell. I thought that was that might be the the poop for these things. So and then we got our grob dispenser there. Okay, so not sure what I have to. I've got to gather something from, and my pointer's kind of just. Pointing at the ceiling? No. Alright, so what do I need? Do I need the poop? Do I need the. What is this? These aren't reeds. Those are plants or something? Alright, can I smack them? That didn't give me anything. There's my ship, though. Alright, well. Go back in here and try to figure out what I need. Oh, you know what I probably need to do is I probably need to smack these these little critters around because I don't see anything else in here. All right, let's try to smack one. Ooh, I kicked him. <laughs> oh, he's pissed now. Oh. Hey, look at that! You picked up some carbon. Good for you. All right, and you can do a power slap too. I'm gonna go try that on one of these. Power slap. Boom! Oh yeah. That one was juicy. Bonus loot. Got some nice carbon work. and silicon. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic Nomad plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. All right, so I gotta run back to my ship and make a gun. Seems pretty straightforward. Teleport again. How <laughs> that noise you make when you teleport. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. That noise you make when you teleport is hilarious. Okay, I can print my gun. Right click aim, left click fire, R to reload. I wonder what it takes for ammunition. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Yeah, I would say the weapon is the most important tool. Right, so. Going back. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Biosigns, nominal. She gave us some random update on temperature and stuff. So, I think I need to probably blast my way through these crystals, because I couldn't... She said I needed a gun when I came up to him last time, so if I shoot that... Yep. I can get through now. I could go farm those little 
critters for silicon and carbon, I guess. I don't know that that would be advantageous, though. Can I? I can't vault up there. Nope, can't get up there. Ah, there's a ramp. Let's head up that ramp here. To a running jump. Ah, I made it. Okay, so... Some more crystals. There's a ledge. Can I jump up on that ledge? Let's check it out. Get a running start. There we go. Ah, there might be like a secret area over here. I don't know if I can make that jump though. Is there anything to scan up here? I don't see anything. Jump! Oh, man, nope. Didn't make it. But I did see something over there when I was trying to jump over there. It was like a... Like some, like some sort of yellow plant or something. wonder if I can scan that. I can't really... I can't see it from here. Looks like... Oh yeah, you can zoom in though with your scanner. Oh, I can scan something. Silicon vein. Alright. Well, if I can ever get over there, I will, uh, maybe I can harvest some silicone out of that thing. I don't know. Let's check and see that. So I'm, I really like the graphics in this game. Um, it seems to run pretty well on my computer, too. It's uh, very, very quick, very punchy. I like the controls. Apparently you can't slap crystals. You can shoot them though. Okay. Which explains why I couldn't get out of that cave without a gun. That makes total sense. Whoa. Oh, there you go. It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower looming above you? No, I saw a large I only title. Ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial that looks like a mountain, not a tower. No sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. I have superiors? Better not be that one guy. This fungizoid sports several spongy, porous pom-pom pods. What was his name? I forget his name already. Oh well. Let's see what else we can scan here. I can't slap it. Can I shoot it? No. That's an indestructible plant, apparently. Can't power slap it. I have received it. an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. So, so far I've had to run back to make a gun, and now I'm going to have to run back to read a message. So if I have to keep running back These to the ship... These alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline! That's going to be... Yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. That's going to be frustrating. They better have some way of sort of like teleporting. These berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. Oh, cool, I'm going to have to As check those out edibles, later. Take it slow. So, hopefully there's like some sort of teleportation technology or something to get you back to the to the ship because that's going to get frustrating now that's metal if you have to keep running back you know every time you discover something so I, don't, I think I've maybe scanned everything here there might be some stuff over here I haven't scanned I don't want to go too far I want to go back to the uh, oh, what's that a oh, carbon vein it's a messed up place for a carbon vein. What are you? How are you spell? How are you supposed to mine that? Like a sky drill or something? It could be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. Oh, I'm working grappling on a hook, for okay. you now. So at some point, I should be able to 3D pin a grappling hook. That's nice. I think I've scanned that yet. There's a. Is that one of those things that I saw before? Forget the name of those. Probably. Okay, I've scanned that already. Take a closer look at that. Monster guy over here. Shangtar's Frigid Embrace. 
Ah, yes. Okay. I've... What's this? These remains are a hell of a lot older than anything else we found on this planet. That is a big skull. Hopefully, whatever it belongs to is extinct. Okay, so I think I've scanned everything in the immediate vicinity. I'm going to head back to the Javelin to take a look at the message from my superiors, aka the psychopathic guy that sent me out here, fired me into space, and uh, with no equipment. How nice. All right, well, it's not too too bad to run back to the ship, but your stamina drains pretty quickly when you're running, and uh, I'm not going to want to keep coming back to the ship. You know, that's going to really hamper exploring if you get a ways out and you got to keep coming back, so hopefully there's a mechanism to get back here quickly. All right, so my guess is we need to head to the computer, check our email. Yep. We've got mail. All right. Messages. Okay, hello again. Congratulations on the tremendous progress you've made on planet name. Well, I'm sure by now your isolating loneliness and space exploration has started to set in. Rest assured that your personal sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. Martin Tweed Kindred's fearless and intrepid CEO was distinctly heard remarking that he was interested in one of the paragraph summary he skimmed documenting our 74 active pioneers hard work well done as you continue to pursue your goal of exploring and documenting your exciting new planet be sure to maintain keen awareness of the kindred kindred value system leave no stone unturned if the stone refuses to turn smash it to pieces explore every nook and cranny should any cranny or nook seem too dangerous ah we'll read the rest of that later here's the ad <laughs> A commercial for Grob. Oh, that looks appetizing. She's kind of cute, too. That's good flavor. That's not attractive. <laughs> Artificial food replacement gel. So that's one technological advancement that I don't look forward to. Metamorphical food paste. Let's avoid that. Oh, it's Mr. Psychopath. Hello. Yeah, hi, dude. Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY-26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. That guy's creepy. All right, what else we got? Beat scraps, fat and gristle, fighting oh, commercial. Trash. What a waste! 
or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting. Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted huh. cuddly companion meat from buddy. Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste go. products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Ugh. Meat Buddy, the snugly playmate um, from Slimo. Okay. Yeah. Let's not do that. Alright guys, well this is going to be the end of episode 2. And join me again in episode 3 for a, a more gameplay of Journey to the Savage Planet. If you like the video, go, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, Craig it out.